Matt's in Hilda's show. Uh, with me, I've got trainer Peter Fury. I'm sitting back on the Versace City. Just just contemplating life. How's things? I'm always contemplating life, James. I'm still not no wiser, though. Any, any answers or any advice you can give me on the contemplation of life? Just live every day and don't think too much. Get more depressed. Trying to take it in my stride as we come. We, s we saw Vladimir Klitschko in action uh, the weekend just gone against Bryant Jennings, defending his WBA title. First and foremost, I know you're in the studio for Box Nation. What, what did you make of the fight? It turned out to be a, a very dull affair. You know, it's a, what can you say? Klitschko's a little bit overcautious of getting it. And that makes for a very dull fight because he'll do anything to get out the way. You know, he's not in for engaging at all. You can't blame him. But again, the only difference between, in that fight to me, the only difference that mattered was the size difference, the weight and the height. Mm -hmm. But um, there were six and two threes in between the two of them, you know. Jennings is uh, a lot better than people think. He's a, he's a decent fighter. But, you know, he just couldn't negate the difference in the size. He couldn't handle the jab. And he just got frustrated and he had no plan B. You know, he did try. He tried all of his uh, options. He tried coming forward. He tried doing everything he could. But Klitschko was able to nullify everything he was doing. So, uh, But it, it turned out to be, it wasn't his best performance, to say the least. It was a boring affair. Every time we see Klitschko fight in America, he gets a lot of stick for the performance. Do you think that was duly granted for his performance against Bryant Jennings? I do, yeah, because it's a world title fight. You know, when, when Tyson comes to fight, there's, there's no way I'm going to get in the corner. We're going to leave our families for four months, you know, train in a wilderness to come out and do a stink fest. I'd rather, I'd rather see Tyson fail and put up a hell of a fight for the fans rather than come out and do that. You know, it's not just all about the winning. It's about how you do it. So for me, there's one thing for sure. We're going to have an exciting heavyweight fight because Klitschko's going to have to fight in this fight. You know, he's not going to be able to box and just use that jab and keep Tyson at bay like he thinks, like you've done with everybody else. Because uh, no matter how they train or whatever they do, that's not going to happen. The height difference plus like the 20 pounds in difference between Vladimir Klitschko and Bryant Jennings obviously played a huge factor in the fight, as you said. Tyson Fury, he, he, Tyson Fury's taller than Vladimir Klitschko and I'm presuming he won't be giving away much weight to him once this fight goes ahead. I think that the size difference and uh, the weight between the two Tyson's got a slight advantage in height. I think he's about at least three inches taller. And um, the weight, he's probably probably around 10 or 12 pounds heavier, Tyson. Because I think Vladdy comes in around 17.5, 17.7. Tyson always weighs in around 18.5, 18.7. So there are advantages there. But look, when you're boxing people this size, you know, the six and two threes in it. So uh, it isn't really going to matter that much. But one thing does matter. Klitschko will not have the advantages he's enjoyed against the opponents of the past because now he's fighting a guy who's as big if not bigger than him and um, a box of tricks compared to what he's been fighting in the past. Vladimir spoke in the post-fight press conference. He mentioned Tyson Fury, so he's making all the right noises for the fight. I read on some forums, uh, Mick Kennedy Frank and Frank Warren are potentially looking for September kind of time. Can you shed any light on that? Yeah, I spoke to Frank, and uh, Frank's optimistic and making this fight. Uh, so is Mick Hennessy. And um, I think you look in September, October. October the latest. I think it's uh, going to be early October or early September. It'll be one of those two. We saw Klitschko fighting in America, as I said. A fourth time he's appeared in America. He's yet to fight in the UK. Do you think, Tyson Fury, this could be the fight that brings him to the UK? Because realistically, it's probably going to make the most amount of pounds in the UK if it was staged here. Do you think he's aware of that? Yeah, I think so. The business people, and I think it makes sense to f for them to fight in the UK. It's a massive fight over here. It's big enough, bigger over here than what it can be in Germany or anywhere else in the world. You know, we've got the UK fight fans are, are passionate. It's a big boxing country in, in the UK. And I think it's a fight that needs to happen here. Klitschko's never fought here as well. And I think he's out to make statements. He's coming to the, to the last of his career, Klitschko. And I think um, he'll definitely be wanting to have a fight over here. And I think against Tyson, it's uh, the perfect opportunity for him. 18 fights now, title fights in a row for Vladimir Klitschko. He hasn't faced anyone like Tyson Fury. But having said that, what, what do you think Tyson can do different that 
the likes of Jennings haven't been able to do thus far. Well, I'm not going to take anything away from Vladimir Klitschko. He seems to be able to do enough, like you said, 18 defences, is it? He's a serious man. He's, he's the best in the world. He's up there and he's earned his right. So I'm not saying he's over the hill. I'm not going to say the others. He had a bad night, you know, but look, he come through with a unanimous decision. So he's an exceptional fighter. He knows what he's doing. And like I said, he seems to step up to every occasion and have the answers. So uh, this is a tall order for Tyson. And um, make no mistake, I'm not underestimating anything about Klitschko. So this is going to be the fight of Tyson's life. You've seen about four or five gears maximum of Tyson. He needs to use a 10. So he needs a better performance than what he's ever done before. He's fighting a better man than all the opponents he's faced in the past. So this is a big test, but a test I'm confident he can come through. And what, there's no way we're going in there half-hearted, expecting to lose, because totally the opposite. I am convinced 100% that Tyson can do the job. That's not to take anything away from Vladimir. He's a serious challenge. And, uh, you know, and if Tyson does win, and he wins that fight, then Tyson shuts everybody up because then he's earned his right as the best heavyweight around today. And that's where we're going. What do you think Vladimir Klitschko will be thinking right now? Would the Tyson Fury fight be the most appealing fight in the division? Obviously, there's talk of the unification fight with Deontay Wilder. He's got the WC belt. But surely at the moment, Tyson, Tyson Fury, Vladimir Klitschko has got to be the hottest fight in the heavyweight division. You know, of course it does. You know, I was speaking with Tyson only yesterday and Tyson said, you know, we get past uh, Klitschko, we'd like a unification fight with Wilder. And I'm sure Klitschko's exactly thinking the same thing. You know, get Tyson out of the way, then he's got Wilder. And we're in the same opinion, you know. You know, he's up there, Wilder. There's only Wilder and Klitschko right now. So they're the fight. So, um, you know, God willing, Klitschko, he deals with that and um, he defends straight away against Wilder. So that's that's where we are. That's the fights we're looking at. What will be the case for the training camp then? Obviously, we know you've got fantastic facilities in Bolton at the Platinum Community Centre. You've also got fantastic facilities in Cairns. Will you be taking Tyson Fury away? Will he be in the UK for camp? What? How will that play out? Uh, Tyson's back on the 11th of May in uh, Bolton. We spoke about this last night. And uh, just to ease himself into it, and because uh, he's had, he's not really trained much, he's He's ticked over doing his own thing since his last fight. But he's coming back in to uh, get his diet properly and um, get properly focused, get in the groove, if you like, ready to step up. And then um, the 1st of June, we'll be leaving England and he'll have all of his training camp in Ireland. So um, Mick Hennessy is just sorting out the training camp now. So that training camp is more than likely to be in Southern Ireland. So that's where we're going to be for the whole four months. Reason being... You know, he's got to dig deeper than he's ever dug before. He's going to get totally murdered in the gym. You know, he'll go through hell, Tyson, and uh, because I don't take chances. So this is a fight of his life. He'll have to train for his life. It's as simple as that. And I require total dedication, focus, dedication. And for me to get that, there's no room for families, wives, kids, nothing. He's going to take four months out of his life, just like I am, with my family, and we are going to, he's going to live a Spartan life, because I'm going to send him in there to do a demolition job, not just to win the heavyweight world championship, but to make a proper fight of it, and that's what's going to happen. We're not going to see a jibber-jab contest, no, it'll be, a, it'll be a full-on, people will get what they're going to get, pay, what they're paying tickets for, and viewing figures, they'll get a good fight out of it. I think Tyson Fury sometimes his ability is downplayed because he's so big. He's he can fight orthodox. He can fight southpaw. His movement, his foot movement, his head movement is very good. He does things that sometimes heavyweights are not expected to do. Do you think sometimes people miss that that side to him? I think it's a little bit irrelevant what the Joe public thinks about it because they're not really boxing analysts or boxing experts. They can only look at what they see, and you know, it's like looking at a truck, isn't it? Doing seventy miles an hour. A HGV truck, it looks like it's crawling from a distance. And you'll see a Mini at 70 mile an hour, it looks like it's flying. It's no different when you're looking at a ginormous guy in the ring. But what people need to understand is the speed of Tyson, the actual footwork and everything else is exceptional. 
The only person who will not be underestimating Tyson is Vladimir Klitschko, because they're very clever. He's an astute individual. That's why he's where he is. That's why he's got where he is. And uh, he knows what Tyson's got. He knows Tyson is the most serious threat to his throne. So I expect Klitschko will be training out of his skin for this fight because it's a serious threat. All right, well, we look forward to hearing some further announcements in due course with that fight. I'm sure Mick Hennessy and Frank Warren are working hard to find to put everything together and get it put on paper, so to speak. Yeah, they are the working around the clock. You know, uh, it's all down to Mick. It's down to Frank Warren as well. And, you know, they're doing their job. They're appraising me of all events. I'm, I'm, I'm overseeing everything. Obviously, it's my nephew. So um, everything's getting run past me. Do you agree with this? Do you agree with that? So basically, yeah. I'm happy what they're doing, and I just said, look, get on with it and make the fight. I've got enough to do training the fighter and getting him ready for the fight, i.e. his food, his conditioning, the strategies in place. That's a full-time job. You need a team. It's not just about me. It ain't just about Tyson. It's about everybody in this team. You know, one man's no good on his own. You know, I need help. Can't do a thousand jobs. You've heard the saying, jack of all trades, haven't you? You know, I just want need to concentrate what I can do and you know t for me to concentrate I need good people who's got me back people that I can trust you know and in this situation we're very very lucky so I'm happy it's all it's all ready everything's flowing we're ready to go speaking of